Hi, my name's Alva Hazel, and I want to show you how to sharpen a pencil today without a cat. And I'm going to sharpen this pencil the way that your grandfather might have sharpened it, but it's also the way that I would recommend that you would sharpen it. Hold your pencil in your left hand, grip it tightly, and with your, with your right hand, hold the pocket knife or the blade that you're going to sharpen with uh, in your left hand and get a good grip on it. You have your two thumbs should be very easy to move around because they've become very important. And when you're sharpening a pencil, this thumb right here on your right hand will be pushed by your left thumb. And as you push with your left thumb, it'll, it'll release some of the wood. So watch as I do this, see how that wood just pushes away? Gently shove that wood away. And as you do, watch, my knife will curl up a little bit. And that curling action is actually putting something called a chisel point onto this pencil tip. Now, with that being said, this pencil right here is just about ready. And I like to have a little bit of a longer edge. And there she is. This is it. Using this knife right here. And then this time, I'm going to sharpen it. I'm going to go ahead and give it a longer uh, sharpening edge. And as you see, more of the graphite becomes exposed right there. And as that graphite becomes exposed, it gives you a much higher quality. And I'm going to do a, a hook as I sharpen this, or an art knife, same thing. And as you do this, you pull this out. Look at that. And you can get a really nice, and the wood grain really works well with you. Look at that. You do want to use all wood pencils. You don't want to use anything that's not all wood. So this is a chisel tip. Now I want to show you something else. When you purchase pencils, sometimes they'll come from a, uh, from a supplier or somebody pre-sharpened. And they'll kind of look a little bit like this. They'll have a rounded tip to them. Uh, and when you sharpen it in a crank sharpener, this graphite filling, and in this case, these colored pencils, this clay-based filling, uh, gets vibrated by the turning, constant turning and vibration. As it does, it's basically taking the pencil and just shocking it up and down. As it does that, it'll put small hairline fractures. As you're working with your illustration or your drawing, you'll find that some of those fractures will want to break off. So the first thing I do is, when I'm purchasing a pencil, I always like to buy unsharpened ones. That's number one. Number two, I like to make sure that they're well protected, good quality wood pencil. And then, last but not least, I like to resharpen it my way. I never use the pre-sharpened point that's on, a, on any pencil, including color or regular graphite pencils. Again, you take the pencil, you hold your two thumbs, kind of like this, and you push this thumb so that you have this kind of moving action going on. So, let's do this. Yes. Look at that. Look at that nice tip. Oh, baby. That's nice. Look at that. Now, there's a nice, really nice chisel tip. You may have a hard time seeing it right now because of the color of the, of the uh, clay-based lead that's inside. Notice the debris that's collected on my paper. I'm going to take that debris and I'm going to get that off my paper as quickly as possible because all of that contains pigment that you don't want to rub into your drawing. But look at that. See? Look at that. See that turn? And see this debris is falling onto this paper. We don't want that to occur. So what I do is I grab this bowl here and I sharpen over that bowl. And look at that. Isn't that nice? Look at that. It's a nice tip. Now, it's almost fun. It's almost relaxing to do this. like whittling, I guess. But this is the way your grandfather sharpened them before they had rotary sharpeners. There are some small handheld sharpeners you can get and you can turn. I really don't like the way those feel as well. I like the chisel tip. I like the way that it feels when it's in my hand. I'm going to make you a promise. This is a guarantee. If you sharpen your pencil this way, your drawings will improve by 10% instantly. Not, there's no question about it. Your drawing will be better and here's why because you will be connected to the pencil, number one, in a more direct fashion, and number two, you have a variety of, of, of tips. Look at that, as I rotate it, those tips become light and dark. Isn't that neat? So you have a variety of tips that you can use, and last but not least, it's magic. If you sharpen them like this, it's magic. Your drawings will get better. I'm not joking, I'm dead serious. That's the truth. If you sharpen your pencil this way, your drawings will be better. Not a question guaranteed 100%. I hope that uh, I haven't bored you too much and uh, 
We'll see you for the next lesson.